So I'm here with Corey Element. He just got uh, done giving his speech to the Bernie or Bust at the DNC convention across from City Hall. That was a great speech. I don't know if that was a speech. That was, uh, that was poetry. So that was fantastic. What's your message to the Bernie or Bust people? Don't stop. We have a long way to go. It, you already knew it doesn't stop at the end of the election. It didn't stop at the end of the primary. And, you know, it's probably not going to stop next year, two years, four years from now. We have a long journey ahead of us. Actually, you know what? Those email leaks, leaks that's just the tip of the iceberg. How much dirt haven't we found out yet, right? So we have to, we got a lot of uncovering to do. Uh, yeah. And so how do you reconcile uh, what your movement's doing and what Bernie has said over the last few days? You, you know, it, it, just because that match lights and the match burns out, doesn't mean that that fire is going out too. He's he sparked the fire. We are the fire. And you know what? When one person drops the baton, the next person picks it up. Like Jill Stein, right? She picked up the baton and now she's running with it. And and I'm gonna keep following her until you know the next person picks it up. Now, what do you say to the people who say you're just supporting Bernie like this because of your white privilege? I don't have white privilege. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know, I know. <laughs> well, listen, uh, some people would say that you're not grown up enough, that you, if, you, if you were grown up more, you would be supporting Hillary Rodham Clinton. Have you heard people say that? No, I actually haven't heard that. I, I think that's a horrible argument, right? Like, I agree with grown you. up. I, I don't feel like she rep represents me. I, I was lucky enough to have a dad who, like, stayed off of the streets, but for a whole generation of African Americans, one single thing that she supported, actually she uh, proposed, wiped out a whole generation. And now we're dealing with those children not having a real home to go to, they're not having education, and just trying to figure out how to get through with single moms alone. So you're talking about Hillary Rodham Clinton, the way she uh, more prisons and uh, gutted welfare and uh, stuff like that, and that's what kind of led? Yeah. And so uh, what is your message going forward to people who say, uh, if you vote for Hillary, you're going to be voting for Trump? Uh, that might be true. It's Bernie or bust. Maybe we do need to set this mother down so that we can build it back up, just like the phoenix from the ashes, right? We Maybe the new America, maybe it's time for the new America to resurrect. But at, at this point right now, it doesn't make sense us playing cards with a with a fixed deck. And that's what they gave us. The entire, I, oh, I'm so angry about it that we're still, that there's some type of complacency here that it's like, okay, it's not okay. If we were in school and we cheated on a test, it's not like we would, they, the, the principal would say, hey, it's okay, let's just keep going. No, you stop, you get expelled. That's what they did. So maybe it's time for us to shut down the DNC. Maybe, and wait, they, uh, they apologize, right? They apologize for the emails, you mean? Yeah. I haven't heard that, really. I saw that somewhere. And since they apologize, they know they're wrong. It's time for a lawsuit. It's time for a lawsuit. Let's have a lawsuit against the DNC. Let's get our 227 million back. Some people, my last question, thanks for spending time. Some people are afraid that if Trump becomes president, we have a terrorist attack. It'll be his carte blanche then to take away all civil rights and make this into a fascist state. Are you afraid of that? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm afraid of Donald Trump. I am afraid of Donald Trump. Um, but... I don't know. Do we just keep playing with... Wait, should we vote out of fear? You know, I, I, this is my major problem. I, I highly doubt by November I'm going to switch to voting to Hillary, but let's see how much they really instill this fear in me. Yeah. You, want, you want Hillary to come get your vote? Like, is there anything she could do that could get your vote? Is there any policy she could announce that she's going to implement or be for that would make you go, okay, I'll vote for her? I would have to see it first. I don't know. Uh, I don't believe her. She's a liar. She's, she's been proven time and time again to be a liar. Why do you think the Democrats chose her? You know what? I don't know. There's a, there's, there's a whole bunch of conspiracy going on. 44 presidents are all related. Like, I don't know. There's stuff going on that we don't know about, and it's not okay. And like I said, maybe it's time to set this mother on fire. Or Element, thanks for talking with us. We'll see you again. Thank you. Feel the burn.